Hey everyone, a long time no see. Today I'm bringing you my November favorites. I know I have not seen your beautiful faces for about a month and a half, two months. Life has just been kicking my butt lately. I've just been so swamped with school and a lot of personal things have gone on and it's just been literally impossible for me to get a video up. I've tried filming my everyday college makeup routine three times but the lighting has not been right in any of them and I don't want to just produce a video that's low quality just to get something out there. I want to get a good video out to you guys. And also it was my roommate's birthday yesterday so hence the decorations that I put up. I'm basically the best roommate ever. So anyways I'm really sorry I just was unable to get any videos up. I'm gonna try to get better at that. Um, it's hard just it's a complete completely new setting. There's always construction outside my window so it's like basically impossible for me to film talking videos because ugh, it's just it's just a mess. But I'm actually going home in about a week so I'll be able to film there too which will be good. So anyways I have two months worth of favorites to show you guys so let's just get right into this. So I'm going to start out with my favorite pairing of foundations at the moment. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I've been loving this for so long but now it's getting a little bit too dark for me I'm just so pale right now so I've been mixing it with a covergirl a ready set gorgeous foundation and the two of them yes I've literally never found a pairing of foundations that looks this natural I mean together they are just amazing it's about medium coverage so if you're looking for something heavy coverage this is probably not for you although you could probably build it up it's also it's very very buildable it doesn't get cakey it is so good. And they're both from the drugstore. I know the packaging on both of them is kind of like, eh, squeeze tubes, really? But don't let it throw you off. These foundations are bomb. And keep in mind that I do have oily skin, so that if you have dry skin, this is probably not going to work for you because it is a little bit mattifying, except not mattifying enough where it doesn't look like skin because right now I feel like I look like skin you know and then to top that off I've been really loving the Revlon nearly naked powder this that's just amazing it is so like you can just feel how like finely milled it is and when you apply it it doesn't look like powder is like sitting on your face it really just like blends really well with this foundation pairing so overall I've really really been loving this combination of face makeup and then I recently discovered the elf blush palette I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talk about it but I recently decided to just check it out and I've been loving it I've been especially loving this berry color right here these this is like super super pigmented I mean I'm really impressed you get four blushes for six dollars I mean that's pigmented so you actually do have to be a little bit careful but the colors are absolutely gorgeous and I have mine in the shade light I'm not exactly sure what to do with this color right here it's kind of like a peachy brown it's not a contour it's not a bronzer and it's kind of a little bit too orange to be a blush so I'm not really sure what to do with it um but I've been really loving all three of these right here they're amazing all three of these are matte so that's really nice I don't have a lot of matte blushes so it's nice to you know mix it up a little bit and this this one's really pretty too it has really gorgeous golden shimmer in it so I've been loving this the quality of this is honestly out of this world and then I have been so into highlighting I don't know if you can pick it up right now but I got a highlight going on girls. So I recently picked up this Becca duo from Sephora. The two of these are both $20 and I think that's a really good deal because this is honestly going to last me years. So the first thing that came in the little set was the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, Spotlight in Opal. So it's like a liquid highlighter. It is gorgeous. I hope this is like this is going to pick up but it's like oh. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? So I mix this in with my foundation, and then I put some, like, on the tops of my cheekbones, and I just got that highlight. I mean, it is so, so gorgeous. And then also in the duo, I have this Becca little mini. It's so cute. It's so small. It's like a little eyeshadow. Um, it's just the Becca Skin Perfector Pressed Powder in Opal. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is, it's like... Oh, it's it's gonna look like one color because obviously it's it is the same color but in different forms it's oh, so beautiful I feel like it just would look good on so many skin tones it's really working for me even though I'm so pale right now and I know this looks so tiny I mean it's literally like it's pretty tiny compared to the big Becca thing but this is going to last me a really really long time because with Becca products I mean you need the tiniest little bit to get 
like a wowza highlight. So I really, I'm so glad I picked this up. If you guys have the opportunity to, to just to try out a highlight, a high-end good highlight, definitely would do it because you get both of these for $20, uh, whereas like the regular Becca highlighter is like $38, so very good deal. And then the highlighter that I just had in my hand is the Becca Champagne Pop. I've talked about this a million times, but I've just been so into highlighting that I just, I've... I was using my Hourglass one a lot. This is all going to look like one highlighter, to be honest. But it's down here. It's more golden than Opal. Opal's more like neutral, a little cool toned. And I thought this was actually sold out, but when I went to Sephora the other day, I saw like a bunch of them in stock and I was just like, what? I thought this got sold out like months ago. But if you can get your hands on it, I 100% recommend it. I just know that this highlighter is going to look good on so many skin tones. I know Jaclyn Hill talked about that a lot, that that was like the goal of this highlighter to like create a universal highlighter that looks good on like literally every single skin tone. So it's a really, really good one. If you are willing to spend $38, do it because <laughs> it is amazing and you just get that like oh, amazing perfect highlight. Alright, moving on to eyeshadow. I've been really, really loving my Naked 3 palette. I put it on my eyes today. If you guys want to see, like, I don't know, a tutorial using this palette, I will definitely do that. I only think I have one tutorial using this palette out there. Mm, maybe two? I don't know. I really haven't, like, shown it on my channel a lot. I think because this came out last winter, I kind of just feel like, oh, it's cold again. I want to reach towards these, like, pink tone shadows. I think it's really just a gorgeous palette. Obviously, Urban Decay shadows are just the best out there. Besides Lorac shadows, I think these are honestly the best. And I know it scares off a lot of people because it's so pink toned, but I'm telling you, you can get very neutral looks out of this. I don't really go towards like the pink pinks which is like dust burnout and buzz but the rest of them are like if you took those out like it's very like it's wearable wearable pink shades and some of these are just straight up browns to be honest it's just ugh, it's a really good palette and I've really been enjoying it the packaging just gets me going it's absolutely stunning I think this is the best packaging the Urban Decay has come out with Ever. And then I also just picked up this MAC eyeshadow in Sweet Heat. It's one of their extra dimension shadows. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, it's honestly, I have nothing like it in my entire collection. It's like a rose gold peachy champagne color. Oh, it's so difficult to explain. I'm sorry. I'm still working on the lighting with this and it's probably not going to pick up perfectly, but it is unlike anything I have in my collection. It's I, don't, I honestly do not know how to describe it. It's very neutral, but at the same time, it's absolutely stunning, and it really makes your eyelids pop. So I'm really, really into this shadow. I, I have not been that impressed with MAC shadows, but this one really changed my opinion. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to try out some more of these shadows. Now on to lip products. I have two glosses to talk about. The first one is this NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. I've been really loving this. It's just a really pretty light pink gloss. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I kind of swatched it really weird, but you guys know I love the formula of NYX Butter Glosses. They're so creamy, so, so just comfortable on lips. It feels like a bomb, except it's a gloss, and it's beautiful, and I've been loving this color. It's just a little bit lighter than my um, lip color, my natural lip color, so it just makes me look like, like I have a little baby pink on my lips, so I really, really like it, and it's super low maintenance. I have to reapply it maybe every few hours. It's just bomb. And then I recently got this Buxom lip gloss in Dolly. I have been loving it. It's actually on my lips now, but I think it's a little worn off. It's a beautiful berry color with some gorgeous, gorgeous, actually it's more of a mauve with gorgeous um, golden shimmer in it. You can see it right there. It's very, very opaque for a gloss. It's Definitely stickier than the NYX Butter Gloss, but it also wears a lot longer. And this is also my first Buxom lip gloss, and I've heard amazing things about their lip glosses, and now I finally know why, because it's just, it wears so long, and it's definitely super opaque. I'm very, very happy with the color payoff with this, and I absolutely love the color. My lips are naturally pretty mauve so this is like, I don't know, just amps it up a little bit, add some shimmer to it, a little gloss. I love it. And now I'm going to be talking about two food items because this is basically what's been getting me through 
this semester. The first one is this Twining's Earl Grey decaffeinated tea. This is like my favorite thing to drink before bed now. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. I still am a true fan to my Lipton um, black tea, but this is really good. And it's like, I don't know, it's just something a little bit different. I mean, this is just mm, it's so good. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just delicious. And then I've been really loving this popcorn. It's from Skinny Pop and I really like the white cheddar flavor. It is so good and it's only 100 calories per bag and I really like that they have like these, I don't know, like individual bags because it like keeps me from overeating because they also sell these like big bags and I've actually eaten one in like one sitting. It's really bad. But I really like these individual portions. Again, it keeps me from overeating because sometimes I'll just be studying and like mindlessly eating or like watching Netflix and just like popping popcorn and they'll be like oh that was the entire huge ass bag and it's, it's like very low calorie but it tastes like good popcorn like better than movie theater crap you know I tried to throw that it didn't work there you go and for shows I've really been into how I met your mother that's just like my thing I, I was really into it about a year ago and then I dropped it like before I, I was like 10 episodes away from finishing the series and then I dropped it for a year so I've been re-watching it and just oh, it's one of my favorite like shows ever it's just amazing and then for music obviously Adele 25 the album like just speaks to me I love Adele so glad that she's out there again um, my favorite songs from the album are definitely when we were young remedy uh, love in the dark a million years ago and what is the other one What's the other one? I'm going to be so mad at myself if I don't remember. Oh, and All I Ask. <laughs> oh, so good. And then also, I just saw it on my phone. Um, I've been really loving Over and Over Again by Nathan Sykes. <sighs> Can we just talk about that boy? The music video for it, I'm linking it down below because it's just the feels I receive from that video. It's, <sighs> it's honestly like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Highly recommend it. I mean, it's just, you'll be done after you watch it. I mean, it's just like... It's the cutest thing ever. It really just is. Okay, so that is it for my November favorites. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, then give it a big thumbs up and definitely, definitely comment down below what are the videos you want to see from me because I am lacking inspiration, people. So definitely let me know that and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.